Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Roblox Rich. Roblox, a game creation platform and massive multiplayer online game, has a fan base dedication rivaling that of Minecraft. According to GameIndustries.biz, Roblox does attract more than 100 million active players every month. As of April 2019, Minecraft reached 110 million monthly active players in the same period. It's expanded from the PC to mobile devices, Xbox One, and even virtual reality, according to Forbes. This is astronomically high from its humble origins in 2006 and even further back than that. We thought today we'd share with you four disturbing secrets about Roblox. But guys, real quick, before we start, I'd want you to hit that red subscribe button to enter this month's shoutout giveaway. Just comment down below letting us know you subscribed and we'll enter you into this month's giveaway. Number one, Roblox was preceded by a 2D physics simulator. David Bilderman Basuski, age 53, CEO and co-founder of Roblox Corporation, founded educational software company Knowledge Revolution in 1989. That year, he created one of the first general-purpose physics simulators called Interactive Physics. He wrote on Roblox's official blog. General-purpose physics simulators are where all of the objects in a simulation are simulated and were originally used in mechanical engineering. Knowledge Revolution later created a 3D simulator called Working Model, which could simulate complex mechanical devices like motorcycles or copy machines. Both programs won many awards. Roblox would go on to have its own general purpose physics simulator scaled to thousands of parts. After Knowledge Revolution was acquired by MSC Software for $20 million, Bazuski, along with his colleague at Knowledge Revolution, Eric Castle, both got senior positions at the company. They both left after a few years and wrote the first version of Roblox over the course of two years in an office in Menlo Park, California. He wrote in a blog post, they were initially self-funded, but they later raised $11 million from investors. Bazuski told Forbes that he made the game not only because of the rise of 3D rendering and his enjoyment of construction toys, but because of the positive reception from kids playing on his simulators. Number two, Roblox is an MMO where you create your own games and even get paid by them. Roblox is a place where your people can create their own worlds to play together. Games cover a wide variety of genres, ranging from competitive shooters, obstacle courses, and social hangouts. Games can be created by dragging and dropping things in the Roblox Studio or by writing in Lua, Roblox's coding language, for more advanced functions. There are several tutorials on the game's YouTube channel. Bazuski told Forbes that one of his favorite games is Natural Disaster Survival by user Stickmaster Luke, where players are transported on an island in the middle of the ocean and try to survive meteor showers, lightning storms, and more. At the time of making this video, it has over 339 million visits since it was created in 2008. The game is free to play, but you can spend real money for Robux, the game's currency, which you can use to buy cosmetic items and perks in certain games. For example, in Super Superhero Tycoon by Fire Breathing Dragon 6 and Faded Paragon, you can spend money to double your cash earned in the game. Robux can be purchased in packages ranging from 400 Robux for $5 to 22,500 Robux for $199.95. There's also the option to upgrade to a Roblox Premium account, with a monthly subscription starting at $5.95 a month, and it grants users at removal the ability to sell gear, bonus gear, access to the trade system, exclusive of access to games and gear and more. Number three, Roblox had its own conventions. Roblox has had a number of special events, both virtual and in real life. Roblox held its first convention, Roblox Rally 2011, at the Exploratorium in San Francisco, California on August 1st, 2011. Fans could meet up to share ideas, ask questions to the Roblox staff, learn about creating games, win prizes, and learn about future updates to the game. Roblox also held the Roblox Game Conference 2012 at the Santa Clara Convention Center on July 14, 2012, and BloxCon 2013 at the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago, Illinois. The Royal Air Force Museum in London, England, and the Intrepid Sea, Air, and Space Museum in New York City. A virtual convention known as Virtual BloxCon 2013 was held for all players who couldn't attend previous conventions. Since then, Roblox has held Roblox Developers Conference starting in in 2015. Roblox developers received a preview of the latest tech for the game, tips and tricks for building games, and a chance to deliver feedback directly to the Roblox team. Roblox also held an easter egg hunt in the game starting in April 2008. 
According to the wiki, the event began with eggs dropping from the sky in a game, with players receiving eggs as cosmetic accessories if they find it. Since 2012, the event turned from an egg drop to an easter egg hunt, with players going to a single game to find eggs. The 2013 egg hunt was the first game to get over 10,000 concurrent players, as well as the first game to get over 1 million place visits in a week. This is according to the wiki. Number 4. Some Roblox users have become famous. From staff to fans, many users on Roblox are well known throughout their community. Castle, known on Roblox as Eric Castle, was a co-founder, administrator, and former VP of engineering on Roblox. In the interview, he said he got his first experience with computers at 5 years old when his father showed him a punch card machine at work that would dispense cards for drawing on. He started programming games in junior high school on a Radio Shack TRS-80 during recess. He would have to delete his games after recess as the computer had no hard drive, motivating him to get better and faster at writing code so he can play his games longer. He said he joined the Roblox team so that one day he would see someone drop a house into a giant blender in the game, and it happened. Anyways guys, this does bring us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it, hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Also, please do check out one of the two videos you're seeing on screen right now, it really helps us out. With that being said guys, as always, I'll see you in the next video.